dubbed as clay pigeon by Western security analysts, Turkey's Bayraktar TV2 drones have emerged as Ukraine's symbol of resistance against the Russian invasion. According to Seljuk Bayraktar from Baykar Technologies, destruction of Russian artillery systems and armored vehicles with TB2 by Ukrainian forces has made the whole world a customer. So how did Bayraktar TB2 manage to garner this much acclaim? The Bayraktar TB2 is a tactical armed UAV system developed and manufactured by Baykar Technologies based in Istanbul. The whole shebang consists of Bayraktar TB2 armed UAV platform ground control station, ground data terminal, remote display terminal, and advanced base with generator and trailer modules. It's a medium altitude long endurance drone capable of conducting intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, armed attack missions, fully autonomous taxiing takeoff, landing, and cruise, with communication range of less than 300 km, endurance of 27 hours, and maximum altitude of 25,000 feet. TB2 has proven its efficacy with over 400,000 of operational flight hours. The Turkish military's use of TB2 gained prominence during counter-insurgency operations against Kurdistan Workers' Party and People's Protection Units across Turkish border with Iraq and Syria. Libya's UN-recognized government of national accord used by Rektar TB2s to strike the Libyan National Army's targets. Azerbaijan has successfully used TB2s to destroy Armenian positions, artillery, and vehicles. The precision-guided munitions fired by TB2s deployed by Ethiopian government are believed to have wreaked havoc among Tigray Defense Forces. And lately, the low-key design has again proven itself in Ukraine against the formidable air defense systems and electronic warfare capabilities of Russian forces. Despite its success, analysts are of the view that Bayraktar TB2 is certainly not a miracle weapon. It's a clay pigeon with only 105 horsepower engine, cruising at maximum of 120 knots without any stealth capabilities. Still, it seems to evade enemy reconnaissance either through radar jamming or through technical incompetence. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has been characterized by lack of coordination between the various elements of Russian armed forces. Reports also say that Russian forces set a reward of 50,000 rubles for shooting down a TB2. Multiple TB2s were lost in Libya and Syria and shot down in Ukraine by Russian surface-to-air missiles and its effectiveness in Ukraine may become increasingly limited as Russian air defense coverage continues to improve and electronic warfare assets are engaged at the front line. Regardless of its achievements, the Turkish defense and aerospace industry is also coping with challenges at home and abroad. Inflation rate in Turkey is touching 70%. Another concern is the brain drain of young skilled workers to foreign companies. Ankara has complained for years about NATO allies refusing to provide critical subsystems for military equipment developed by Turkish companies. According to Baykar Technologies CTO Seljuk Bayraktar, TB2 UAVs are exported to 24 countries including NATO member country Poland. Works are underway for TB3 UAV which may have the capability to fly from ships. TB2 is also being modernized with a new laser-guided miniature missile named Bozok which has an extended range of 15 km and is lighter and compact in comparison to the conventional MAML, which is widely used currently. Turkey is working on its new Akinj drone, which is expected to be more sophisticated with greater stealth and surveillance capabilities, including new countermeasures against emerging anti-drone technology. Whether it really can overcome such technologies remains to be seen, but the track record so far has shown that TB2 and its Turkish manufacturers are well capable of surprises. Thank you for watching. Please do like the video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe the channel.